What's going on YouTube? Pritigan here, and you know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of feeling like shit with this cold-like symptoms that I have, but you know what I'm not tired of? Valorant mobile information, news, or anything of the sort. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, I'm going to start first on my Twitter, because first of all, if you're not following me on Twitter, then you're not going to be getting the up-to-date information that I post on Valorant Mobile that comes across my feeds, because uh, I usually post it on Twitter first, then I go to my computer and I make a video and share it on YouTube. But five hours ago, from when I'm filming this, Anbox posted a tweet. Now, if you don't know who Anbox are, they are a dominant New York-based esports teams. They are the owners of Call of Duty's uh, New York Subliners. Overwatch League's New York Excelsior, some of your favorite top content creators, and of course, they do have an Anbox Valorant team. So their presence in Valorant is one that should not be ignored. Uh, I'm in New Jersey, but I have so much respect for New York teams. But nonetheless, Anbox five hours ago posted a tweet and this image, tweet your home screen. Let's take a look. Riot Mobile, we know that that is Riot's con uh, mobile app that brings you news, esports, you can message people. It's a really cool client app if you're not using it already. But is this a troll? Or are our eyes being fooled? Was there some sort of leak that whoever's running the social completely messed up on? There's Valorant Mobile on their home screen, right? That's interesting. And of course, I had to reply. I was like, I need more information on this Valorant Mobile. And looking at a lot of the replies, no one else that was replying with their home screens have Valorant Mobile on there. So I'm not sure what this can be. And you know me, I'm a sucker for any sort of information, leaks, assumptions, because as of right now, that's the only thing we have is assumptions. Is there some sort of pre-alpha private test that's going on and they're only sending it out to some of their close knit social networks, such as pro teams that are a part of the VCT and, and all that? Who knows? I don't know. The one thing I do know is, as I posted in my last video, Riot has been heavily recruiting a lot of new positions towards the Valorant Mobile team, dedicated to scaling and building and optimizing Valorant Mobile. I've been keeping a very close eye on the people that are joining Riot under Valorant Mobile. I'm not going to share any names. I'm not going to share what positions because I'd rather keep their privacy to themselves so they don't get bombarded. But I'm keeping a close eye. and. Without trying to share so much information, I'm sharing what I can, at least what I would professionally think is valid information. And this right here to me brings a lot of questions, like I said. So I'm not sure what's going on. Are we going to get some official information from Riot by the end of the year? Or are we going to get something for the holidays? That'd be great. Uh, I don't know. 2022 is right around the corner. That's when we should hopefully pray to get some additional information, maybe some 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 news on when they're going to be doing any sort of closed betas. We're not sure. We, we, we're not too sure exactly what Riot's plan, but we do know that something is in the works because there's a lot of movement happening on that side of the house. Nonetheless, if you guys have been watching until now and you're excited as Valorant Mobile just as much as I am, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Valorant Mobile content that I'm going to be pushing out as soon as I get any sort of information. You know that I'm your boy to help you out there. Um, otherwise, guys, make sure to follow my Twitter like I said before. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.